In this calculation, we have a Wheatstone bridge. It's considered to be a balanced Wheatstone bridge. And we need to solve for the currents through each branch using uh, Kirchhoff's law. Now, what I recommend is that you write down all the steps I'm showing you. Um, I'm going to break it up into different parts. And there is different ways of choosing loops as well. But um, I'm going to choose specific loops. I'll show you now. So I'm going to have three equations. My first equation, I'm going to be starting with uh, loop A, B, D, A. All right, let me use my laser here to highlight this network. So we have a battery. You can see positive terminal, negative terminal. It is in the anti-clockwise direction. And then for our volt drop, we have I1 times R1. And I1 is in a clockwise direction. I3 times uh, 2 ohms, that's in a clockwise direction. And I2 is in an anti-clockwise direction. So for our first equation, we have our first battery, which is E1. So it's going to be minus E1 is equal to positive 1 ohm. Positive 1 ohm multiplied by uh, I1. Then we're going to have plus 2 ohms multiplied by I3, and then we're going to have minus 1 multiplied by I2. So the value of the battery over there will be minus 3 volts is equal to I1 minus I2 plus 2I3. Right, that's as far as we can go for this uh, network here. We're going to call this equation number 1. Let's move to the next equation. And in this equation, we'll be looking at loop A, D, C, and moving back to A. Right, so let me use my laser and highlight this network. So we have uh, I2, and you'll notice we're using this clockwise arrow here at the bottom as our frame of reference. And so that I2 over there is actually going to end up being um, in a clockwise direction, positive. 3 ohms times I2 plus I3, that will be in a clockwise direction. And uh, I1 plus I2 is also in a clockwise direction. And then we have our third battery, which is clockwise. So let's go ahead and write those down. So we have uh, negative E2, because it's anti-clockwise, plus positive E3, because that's clockwise. Then we have uh, 1 ohm, positive 1 ohm, multiplied by I2, um, plus 3 ohms, multiplied by I2, plus I3. And then we have 1 ohm, plus, sorry, multiplied by I1, plus I2. Okay, so if we multiply all that, substitute the voltages, so we'll have minus 3 volts, plus 10 volts is equal to I2 plus 3I2 plus 3I3 plus I1 plus I2. So if you have a look over here, we've got lots of 2's that we can add up together. So we end up with uh, positive 7. We have 1I1 plus uh, 5I2 plus 3 times I3. And this will become equation Two. Let's take a look at our next let network. Um, over here we'll be looking at A, B, C, and then back to A. So let me use my laser just to highlight that. So in this network we have uh, negative E1 and positive I1 times R1. Then we'll move back down over here. We'll have 2 ohms multiplied by I1, I3. That's clockwise. And then I1 plus I2 is clockwise. And E3 is clockwise. So let's write this equation down. So first of all, our first battery is going to be minus E1 plus E3. And then for our volt drops, we have 1I1 plus 2 multiplied by I1 minus I3. And then we have plus 1 ohm multiplied by I1 plus I3. Two. Okay, if we simplify, uh, our first battery is going to be minus 3 volts, plus we have our third battery of positive 10 volts. We have uh, I1 
plus 2i1 minus 2i3 plus i1 plus i2. Let's look for the common denominators here. We have i1, i1, and i1 over there. So we're going to end up with 7 is equal to 4i1 plus 1i2. And then we have minus 2 times i3. And this will become our third equation. Now that we've got our three equations, we are essentially just going to be using mathematics to try it and simplify and resolve the different currents. So I'm first going to start off by saying equation 1 minus equation 2. So let's make a note. Equation 1 subtract equation 2. All right, so equation 1 was minus 3 i1 minus i2 plus 2i3. Three. Then we have 6 is equal to i1 minus 5i2 plus 3i3. Three three. Okay, so we draw a line underneath there, through here, try and simplify. So we end up with minus 9. We can cancel out i1 and we end up with the minus 6i2 minus i. Three. Okay, so therefore, just to try and simplify, we're going to say that I3 is equal to minus 6I2 plus 9. Okay, now we can actually take this uh, bracket and we can actually substitute it now back into our equations to try and uh, resolve all these problems. So first of all, let's take I3 and substitute it into equation 2. Okay, plus 3i3. Three three. That's where we're going to substitute. So we've got 6 is equal to i1 plus 5i2 plus 3. And then we're going to substitute i3, which is minus 6i2 plus 9. Right, so we use our calculator, try and simplify. And we're going to end up with 6 is equal to i1 plus 5i2 uh, minus 18i2 um, plus 27. Right, if we simplify that, take the 27 across, it will become minus uh, 21 is equal to i1 minus 13i2. Now this, I'm going to call equation Five. Okay, that's just to help me remember. Now I'm going to take I3 and substitute it into equation 3. So let me first write down equation 3 here. It was 7 is equal to 4I1 plus I2 minus 2 negative 6I2 plus 9. So obviously you need to multiply out there. So we're going to end up with 7 equals 4i1 plus i2 minus, or minus multiply by minus becomes a positive 12i2 and negative 18. All right, if we simplify it further, uh, if we take the 18 across to the other side, it will become uh, 25 is equal to 4i1 plus 13i2. Two. And uh, we can refer to this as equation number 6. Right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to take equation 5 and equation 6 together. And I'm going to add them together. Equation 5 plus equation 6. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so equation 5. I1 minus 13 I2. And equation 6 was uh, 25 equal to 4i1 plus 13i2. So what you can see here, we, what we've achieved, we can cancel out i2. So we end up with 4 is equal to 5i1. So therefore, we have solved for i1, which is equal to 0, 0,8 amps. Right, now that we've got i1, uh, we can go back, substitute I1 into any one of our equations and try and simplify. I'm going to use equation 5. Uh, for equation 5, 
it was minus 21 equals uh, I1 minus 13I2. Okay, let me just grab my calculator here. So if we substitute minus 21, I1 is uh, 0.8, subtract uh, 13 I2. So if you do a little bit of mathematics over there, guys, you're going to end up with your secondary current, which is uh, 1.677 amps. Cool. So we said we solved that. Right. Now we can actually go ahead and calculate uh, I3 by substituting I2. So let me show you. Remember earlier on we said that I3 was equal to minus 6 I2 plus 9. So we substitute I2. So it's minus 6, uh, 1,677 plus 9. So therefore I3 is equal to minus 1,062 amps. Right, we've solved for all three currents. You can go ahead now and see if you can check all your answers correctly.